Students can't learn from materials they can't access. Researchers can't build on knowledge they can't see. Businesses can't innovate from knowledge behind bars. Despite the vast majority of research being funded by taxpayers, the reality we live in globally and here in the UK is that people can't access research they've often paid to create. The solution to this problem is open access. Open access is the free online access to publicly funded research with full reuse rights. By widely adopting this method of publishing, we establish a fair and just research system, which invites people in, not locks them out, enables research to be used, not just read, and enables computers to interpret the literature, gaining insights humans never could. In the past 10 years, huge progress has been made towards this goal, but we must do more. The Open Access button is an app to help researchers, patients, students and the public get access to academic research. Now two years old, our app is developed by students and researchers who know firsthand the impact paywalls can have on university education, research and wider society. Our beta in November 2013 confirmed there was a need for a tool like this to support education and research, both inside and outside of academic institutions. We have now made versions of the tool as browser extensions and mobile apps. Since then, the Open Access button has helped connect users with otherwise inaccessible research articles and made visible users' collisions with academic paywalls. The Open Access button has recorded more than 12,000 instances of people without access to research articles. These include stories of doctors and patients who cannot access research about diseases and their treatment, and stories of researchers and members of the public unable to access research they need to work, learn and understand the world around them. Our work has been covered in The Guardian, VentureBeat, Scientific American and supported by the community including Nobel laureates, leading policymakers and innovators. For the duration of the GISC program we will focus on expanding our user base and build a feature into our apps to allow users to automatically email authors. Emailing authors has long been used as a tactic to obtain papers behind paywalls, but it's real limitations. Our automatic request would also push an author to make their paper available through our repository. This long-term archiving of research would make the research available to everyone. This approach both solves the user's concern while engaging authors around a critical issue in a novel way to increase uptake with depositing the research in repositories. Authors are often unaware of their institutional repository or pushed to deposit their in the name of compliance. We feel that having readers request that they do this would be a more effective way of ensuring compliance. This approach also has the advantage of engaging authors of papers which haven't been recently published increasing historical access and archiving. We're also hoping to explore other ideas as pilots and institutions. During Open Access Week 2016, we'll release a beta of new features, get feedback and improve from there. Crucial to this process will be the voices of UK universities and repositories whom we'll need to work closely with. Using this feature, we hope to attract more users to the Open Access button. Using their data, we will support data-driven campaigns and tell stories to support open access and fix systemic issues that stop people from accessing research.